The Golden State Warriors officially closed out the preseason with a 6-0 record, but many storylines are overshadowing their 58-point demolition of a win over the Lakers without Stephen Curry. Bronny James having his best game in the pros by scoring 17 points and working towards proving doubts about him wrong, among many other narratives are being talked about more. The game's leading scorer for the Lakers, Quincy Oliveri, had a full circle moment with his favorite player growing up post-game, as Stephen Curry took a pick with him, which Oliveri spoke on by saying, that's my favorite player ever, and the first thing he told me was, I'm a big fan of your game. I had his jersey, he signed it twice, I used to sleep under that jersey. After being signed to a two-way contract by the Lakers, we're all rooting for Quincy after that dope moment he had with Steph, and Bronny James sticking it to the haters was great to see as well. That said, the Dubs were the only undefeated team in the preseason, the first time they've done that since 2021, a season where they went on to win the franchise's seventh championship and the fourth in the dynasty era. Stay tuned for how they did what they were supposed to and then some against the third string Lakers. Right quick, over 75% of you watching right now are not subscribed, so please subscribe if you haven't already, splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and follow at dflowhoops on Instagram at X for a follow back. Thank you for your support, you're tremendously appreciated. While Draymond Green didn't record a field goal on Friday night, his impact was felt in the facilitating and defensive departments. He got the Warriors offense rolling right out of the gate by spotting Kaminga on a backdoor cut, finding Wiggins by kicking it out to him for a shot from beyond the arc, and rejecting a screen from TJD and spotting him on the roll. On the other side, Green helping out on this drive leads to him following the Hood Shafino kick to the corner and closing out hard for the block, only for Reddish to recover it and get swatted at the rim by Kaminga. Wiggins pump faking gets Reddish jumping before he finds Jackson Davis for another basket on the inside. Trace sealing Oliveri gets him the entry from Draymond and he completes the and one. Buddy healed catch and relocating with Gary Payton the second, nets Buddy the triple. The masked pods gets every bit of airspace needed and then some with the Lakers slow to get back in transition. Healed and Loondog two-man game results in a Kavon foul line jumper. Healed isoing reddish and up faking collapses Oliveri opening up Melton. Looney contesting Maxwell Lewis to force a miss around the basket on one end leads to Anderson underhanding to Heald and Buddy attacking to his left and finishing with his right on the other end. Jackson Davis DHOing to Wiggins gets Andrew a take to the cup. Melton given going with TJD gets Jackson Davis a lob finish. It's then Melton blitzing the passing lane and finding TJD yet again. The improved postgame of Kaminga comes to life when he steps through and reverses around Lewis. Three-man game with Green, Pajemski, and Wiggins opens up Andrew for the triple. Oliveri pushing the tempo for LA, sees Green anticipate the drive and plant his feet to draw the charge. Melton using a Jackson Davis screen sees him penetrate and whip it around to the corner to Kaminga, who jabs twice and hits a contested beyond the archer. Wiggins half-skip passing in transition to the Warriors preseason leader in points per game and Moody leads to Moses gathering faking triple and driving all in one motion, resulting in a two-handed slam. Here, first it's Melton catch and relocating with Pajemski, before Pajemski gets a flare from Anderson that acts as a UCLA screen, opening Brandon up to receive the Melton entry. Healed outletting to Anderson leads to him getting it back in transition for the modern day fast break three. Split action with Looney dishing from the post and Anderson screening, then Nets healed a triple from the other side. The buddy flurry continued when he crossed half and stepped into a bomb off a of Looney screen. Kyle Anderson manning the point guard sees him cross over Castleton and find a backdoor cutting Key Santos. From there, it was the Warriors matching the Lakers with third and fourth stringers gracing the lineup as Reese Beekman would get the first step and find Pat Spencer cutting in for the jam. Spencer would blitz the passing lane and find Quentin Post trail in the play for this three-pointer, and then connect with Post again, this time receiving a handoff and getting downhill for the off-balance floater over Castleton. This was your boy D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.